Going back to the hotel last night, um, late after the concert with like 16, well, 15 other fiddlers was a was a, 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 almost a dangerous thing to do, I'd say. It was, but we got there, we got there all right, in one piece. Well, you got there in one piece and left there in one piece, right. and uh, you're the final person now we're talking to before this uh, weekend event breaks up. And yourself and your brother Paddy were there, and of course you were both born in Guinea Willa, in yes. the famous area Shlieve Lokra. Yes. And that's a magic name, of course. When out here, when you tell someone you're born in Shlieve Lokra, I suppose they don't know where it is for a start off. No. But it's very famous for music. It is. When uh, you were growing up there, Johnny, tell me a little bit about what the music scene was like and the, the famous names there and all of that. That's well, there was an old fiddle player by the name of Tom Billy. He was a blind man. He used to go around to the houses in a, a donkey. The donkey used to take him. And the donkey knew everybody's house. So then when he passed away, we had a younger teacher, Padre O'Keefe, and he was a school teacher at one time, and he quit the school and he would teach him music, and he'd travel around to the houses. So he was the first man I had playing a fiddle, because he was coming teaching my brother Paddy. Well, I never took lessons from O'Keefe. But from listening to it, I picked it up myself. What they call learning by air. And now tell me, Tom, Tom Billy now, was he, was he somebody you ever saw or met? I or? did. Yeah? I saw him as an old man up at the donkey. Was he? I was going yeah. to school, I was only seven or eight years. But he, he never actually visited your house no. to teach or oh. he, was, he was towards but the end uh, of his life. Then. He had, there's a lot of tools called after him. There is no known name for the jig or reel. They call it one of Tom Biddy's. No, they call it, there's no known name. Paul Dirk O'Keefe, who was the uh, travelling fiddler who more or less took over in the area, I think, after Tom Biddy. Yes, Billy. well he was a much younger man. He was first a school, a national school teacher. And uh, you know, going around, play, he wasn't able to be there in the morning. So, he, actually he got fired. So, he was the only one that thought that people of Schlieb Lucre, he was the only one there. Then there was another family of great musicians, the Waver Murphys. There was Dennis, Jula. Ah, there was Dan, and uh, ah, there was a lot of them, were, you know, older than me. So, Paul Patrick O'Keefe, uh, would you call him Patrick or Patrick O'Keefe? Patrick O'Keefe. Patrick O'Keefe, you'd well, call him. He was better known as Patrick. Patrick. Yeah. But he visited the house teaching your older yeah, brother. Yeah, he'd come around maybe Paddy. once a month and he'd write the music in figures, not the way it is written here. Or other any book. He drew the lines as the strings and he put it down in figures. He had his own system. So in fact he would have left these uh, these these tunes, uh, these pages of tunes in the house after he left then? Yeah. So there were plenty of these in your house? There was. Out. Were you able to read his system of music no. writing? Was, was Paddy your older brother? Paddy, uh, he could, Paddy could read his way or the, or the O'Neill way. So were you learning your older brother Paddy's tunes that he was getting from Paul de Gaulle? All I had to do was listen to him and bring him out by air. Would you be in the room when, uh, when O'Keefe was teaching Paddy or listening? If I wasn't, I'd be passing by. And tell me then, people like the, the, the Waver Murphy family, people like Dennis Murphy, yeah. Uh, he would have been a contemporary of yours now. Would you, you've been playing with Dennis uh, before you came out here. Oh, lots of times. Well, there was another accordion player, Johnny Leary. They were the local musicians. 
Nick Duggan. Uh, you know, when I was growing up. Well, Julia, De Dennis's sister, and Dennis himself are both fiddlers. Right. And uh, Julia, of course, is still going strong even as yes. we speak now. And her husband was a great accordion player, John Clifford. And she has a son, a great musician, a flute player. I think they're in England. That's, that, that's Billy, Billy Clifford. Billy Clifford. Yeah, yeah. So what is all this then you hear about the Schlieve Luke style of fiddling and people say it's a very different... Well, it's a little different because in Schlieve Luke we play polkas a lot and slides that you don't hear in the rest of the country. And these slides, what makes them different from the other tunes? It is, uh, it is something similar to a jig but different type. And it's played for the set dancing? It is played for the set dance. Do you like playing for dancing or would you rather play when somebody isn't dancing? I don't care which were the others. And do you like playing on your own or would you rather play with the other people? It doesn't matter. Now, Johnny, <coughs> when, when did you come to New York first? From this, uh, from from Guinea Willow. Was it in the village or no, near the village of no. Guinea Willow you were born yourself? I came to I came to Boston. I cut grass outside the door that thirty four years ago. In Boston College. In Boston College. Thirty four years ago. Then I stayed here for two years, and I went to Chicago and I stayed there a couple of years. And I came to New York, and I'm there since. So when you were uh, when you were here then in Boston, did you was there much of a music scene in Boston, to Irish music scene, when you walked in first? We used to play by Sir Paddy, uh, a Joe Cooley, at the Intercolonial Hall in Dudley Street, Saturday nights. I think there was. A bar in the Roxbury Grill, we go there afterwards. And I have, you know, real Irish music because of the dance hall. You'd have to be playing waltzes and, you know. And in Chicago, then, of course, you had. Uh, well, there was Jack Hadley's yeah. bar, and it was strictly a traditional Irish session. With Joe Cooley and Kevin Keegan, and Seamus Cooley, Mike Boyle. And a lot of, you know, people that had come in for a session. And going on stage last night now here in Boston College, apart from reminding you of your days when you were cutting the grass outside the hall, yeah. <laughs> which is an interesting story, <laughs> um, uh, you also were sharing the platform with, with people like Johnny McGreevy, who you would have known yeah. from your Chicago oh, days. Oh, Johnny, Anne Elder Kane, uh, better known as, well, her right name is uh, Mrs. Neary. But she, better known as Elder King. So you had. Uh, and you Jimmy Neary was her husband, another great friend. So you were another uh, visitor to the, the Neary house and the sessions that Oh, I was there. after down at Mrs. Neary's, Jimmy Neary. And they'd come to 79th Street with Johnny McGreevy. sounds like an ideal night, Johnny. Um, of course, we have to go home, and uh, all the other fiddlers have nearly gone home. There's just I mean, almost yeah. yourself and myself nearly left, and Johnny McGreevy back here behind the camera, keeping an eye on us. I don't think we'll ever get rid of him. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But um, maybe we should end with a tune. What would you like to play for us? Sure. Well, today, no, I don't do too much, well, but I do so. We understand. It's, it's still fairly early.
I just ask you one question, uh, Johnny, finally, that when you hold the bow up that far, is that something that Dennis Moore for you still? As to how, how would he hold the bow? Is that, well, can you remember? Everybody holds it different. But I, I catch it there because it's better balanced. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what was the name of that tune? The Morning Star. And is it a, a tune that would be played for a set? Yes. So it's a good sleeve look for tune. So, yes. Johnny, we have to send you on your way. There's a car waiting to bring you back to New York. And yeah. I must thank you for coming down. And I thank hope you. We'll meet again soon. Thank you very much. Okay. What's your first name? My name is Mick. Mick Sullivan. That's right, Mick Sullivan. Thank you, Johnny Cronin. Okay.